how to create a parametric pattern based massing design let's start open the Revit let's open a new family open the metric generic pattern base <coughs> Okay. Next. Select the grid. Change the horizontal spacing to 10,000 millimeter and the vertical spacing to 20,000 millimeter or 20 meters. Okay, select the reference point, select the work plane, set work plane, set this plane, and pick reference point. Set work plane, pick this plane, pick reference point. Set work plane, set this plane, pick reference point. Set work plane, set this plane, pick reference point, cancel, select all, go to filter, check none, select reference point, ok, go to offset, pick the button, create new parameter, and name it height, ok, Okay, let's go to family types, change the height to 8000 millimeter. Okay, next select these two reference point, spline through points, check reference line. Select these two reference point. Spline through points, check reference line. Okay, select reference point. Okay, pick at midpoint, pick at midpoint. Okay, let's undo. Select the to reference point, delete reference point make sure we select draw on face pick at midpoint pick at midpoint pick at midpoint ok, pick at midpoint next select the two reference point spline through points check reference line select to reference point, spline through points, check reference line. Okay, next. Next, select this three reference point, spline through points, check reference line. Select this three reference point. Spline through points, check reference line. Okay, next, select the two spline, create a form. Okay, go to family types. Let's try to change the height to 12,000. Okay, good. Let's go back to 8,000 millimeter. Okay. Select the surface, divide surface. Okay, let's change the U grid number to six. Okay, next, select the rhomboid. Okay. a new family for the main frame let's create a new family uh, 
open a metric generic model pattern base <coughs> okay select the grid and change the rectangle to rhomboid next uh, uncheck shared select uh, point element okay pick at midpoint draw a circle set work plane okay set this plane then draw a circle okay select the circle and make it reference line okay and uncheck visible next go to create select the, the diameter okay select the circle then select the dimension and create a new parameter let's name this diameter <coughs> okay now let's go to family times let's change the diameter to 200 okay next control tab to select the circle select the four reference line and create a form next select the pipe <coughs> or the form uh, go to visible pick the button create new parameter and name it on and off okay on and off okay okay next save save the family let's save this to the desktop name it rhomboid pipe Okay, save load into the project okay select the pattern and select the rhomboid pipe okay next select the edge uh, pattern select control tab to select okay we need to turn up the pattern so it's in the it's, uh, type properties we need to go back to family go to edit family go to family types select the on and off and select the instance okay load into project and save <coughs> okay okay override the existing version okay control tab to select the edge pattern and turn up the pattern okay next uh, change the independent one to one okay good let's select the edge select this one turn up okay so select control tab to select the pattern off okay control tab to select turn up okay select turn up okay tab turn up okay control tab to select and turn up okay rotate the view okay okay turn up tab to select 
turn up okay select the form the pattern and check on and up okay rotate the view <coughs> okay control tab select and check okay control tab select and check okay control tab select then uncheck rotate okay control tab and check okay next select uh, the two spline create a form okay now download and open the space frame one okay upgrade we have a 2018 version okay load into the project next select the surface divide surface okay select u grid number change it to 6 and the v grid number to 15 okay now go to pattern and select the space frame 1 okay good now go to component clip check <coughs> okay let's change the graphic display to shaded okay orbit the view Okay, now let's try the parameters, go to family types, let's change the height to say 10,000 millimeter, apply, okay, let's see, okay, orbit, Okay, it's all parametric. One more, let's change it to 12,000. Okay, good. Orbit the view. Okay. I think it's enough. Save the family and name it. Pattern base massing design. Save. Okay, let's open. Go to the file. Let's open my massing project template. Massing inside, turn on show mass, select in place mass, mass one, okay. Select reference, select rectangle, draw on work plane, okay. Draw a rectangle, uh, 10 meters by 20 meters, okay. Select, select this. Reference line change this to 20 meters. Ok, 
Okay, select this reference line, change it to 10 meters. Okay, select the rectangle, let's center it to the work plane. Okay, then let's go to 3D. Select the reference line, create form, select the surface. Okay, select the surface, control tab to select the surface, divide surface, and change the number to 1 and the big grid number to 1. Okay, select the pattern based massing design. Okay, we need to go back to the family and load into project okay override shared subcomponent okay okay let's go back to 3d select the surface Select the pattern, select the pattern base massing design. Okay. Let's go to perspective. Okay. Orbit the view. Okay, done. Thank you.